This concept can't be explained in a short couple minute video. I'm going to do my best to explain Itadori telling Mahito that he is him and how Mahito told Itadori that he was him as well. Because being able to say like I am you and understanding that we ourselves are each other is a concept that I've been experimenting with the past couple of months. Because all we really are is consciousness as a whole. So if I am you then that means that you are me and if we are each other then that means that we are everything and everyone all at once. It's a concept that has been an incredibly challenging for me to understand and grasp my full relation around myself because we can look at how like each story is a mirror reflection of Mahito and Mahito is a mirror reflection of Itadori, which means that which that means that every person that comes into our life is a mere reflection of us. So when I'm having a conversation with, say, a stranger or somebody that I meet or a friend of mine, they're showing me aspects of myself that I, one, don't want to see, or two, that I do recognize and I do see as beneficial. So I typically, not even typically, I always seem to run into business owners or people that are doing their self, they're, they're entrepreneurs, they're self-employed, they're creatives, they're people that are living the life that I am working myself towards living. I am living this life as I speak right now. Um, the income just is still coming to me as I speak right now. So everybody that I run into, like when I was at the ice palace, it's this place down in Colorado where they do like all these ice sculptures that had like a couple tons of ice. I ran into the owner of the Del Taco because he was the direct reflection of me. Then the other day when I was talking with this girl at the gym, I ended up going on to her Instagram page after asking for her Instagram page, which I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but like go up to a complete stranger or a girl that you find attractive and just be like, hey, how are you? Like have a good conversation, like notice her tattoo or something like that. Start a conversation, talk with her. She talks about red flags, green flags. We have a whole in-depth lengthy conversation. Then I'm like, hey, can I get your Instagram? I don't know if you guys have ever done that. If you want to understand how to do that, I'm more than happy to share that insight with you. From And then, so like after I got her Instagram, I went back to my car, I looked at it and I was like, oh, okay, she's also somebody that cuts hair and that's her living that's her source of income i was like okay there's another person and then the girl from a couple months ago that i believe i said i was dating um found out well not even found out knew that she was a good dog groomer and I, this is where i learned like i can't be sleeping with clients because that's just a no-no i shouldn't have done that in the first place that's a mistake that i made on my part it's something that i had to learn because otherwise i would have just been stuck at the exact same place that i was been kind of like ug was when he didn't want to have to fight Mahito, he was like, I'm not going to kill you. I, I'm different from you. But then he's like, no, I am the same as you. So like me being able to realize that her having her own dog grooming business was fantastic. And I should have just kept her as a client and not slept with her. That's my mistake. <clears throat> so she was another one that I ran into. And then a couple months ago, when I was working out at a different gym, one of my friends, he wasn't big into real estate. He was able to, I think the last deal that he closed, he made like a million, 1.2 or $1.3 million off of the commercial building that he sold. I was like, okay, that's another aspect of myself. And then there was this other friend of mine that I used to lift with. And he was telling him how like whenever he would have divorces or he'd go through like these breakups or relationships or like in the, like in his communication with his wife, then he would lose all of his stuff and he'd have to work back towards it. So I was like, you know what? Like, I know that I'm not going to lose everything that I have because this is going to pick up before then. But that was something that I kind of also realized too, was just like, he was a direct reflection of myself and he was showing me that like, Hey, I'm a normal guy and I'm stronger than I think I am. And I've been selling myself short and I do have my own insecurities that I had to focus on and like remove to help me be able to defeat the enemies that stood in my way. And there's nobody really within my way. It was all within my own head and being able to defeat the enemies that stood within me was something that I had to realize because we can go into this concept in a whole nother video of like, is it story dreaming this or is it truly him experiencing it? Because how do we know that like the first episode, I actually might do a video on that for tomorrow. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss that. <sighs> that, that, that would be good. Um, yeah, I, I like that. So like, me being him and me being everybody else that is every like everybody that's coming into my life is just a direct reflection of myself so that's why when i look at and i hear other people being like oh i can't change my situation oh like you have it easier than me it's just like no not really i just i've just gone through different situations and i've decided to change my view and tell the change the story that i tell myself because it's like if i am you then you are me and then if we are one another you have something to teach me and i have something to teach you and i've always been on the perspective that like if you have something to teach me i'm going to learn said lesson from you so that i don't have to repeat said lesson whereas i feel like other people that i've come in contact with they don't learn from me as much as i learn from them which there's no harm or no foul in that it's a skill that i've had to acquire over the past couple of years and i figure if i've been able to do it somebody else can do it as 
well too. So like if we are everybody and everybody is us, everybody has something to teach us. Every conversation, every video, everything that we listen to is us talking to ourselves in some way, shape or form. So we might as well listen to said person and realize like, okay, why am I getting upset when this person says this thing? Or how do I control my emotions? Or why am I feeling this way if said person is telling me this? Because there's probably an aspect within ourselves that doesn't want to believe that that's true about us. And then once we do accept it, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Or we acknowledge it and it's like, okay, maybe that isn't me, but like I could see how I was upset because maybe at one point in time that was me, but it doesn't have to be me any longer. And that's where we can change this, where we can become stronger. And that's where we can become more of our true selves and start to experience and show the world in the ways that we see it, because we are all unique individuals that do have our own unique perspectives. And I hope that this video will maybe help you write down like something that I did a little while ago. I wrote down everybody that was in my life and I was like, okay, what is this person trying to teach me? What does this person value? What does this person have to say? And then as I started to do that, I was like, okay, this person I want to keep in my life, this person I don't because the traits or characteristics that they have aren't going to help me be moving forward. And I just created a list and I identified the things that I saw within them that I saw within myself. And I was like, okay, I do like this or I don't like this and I want to get rid of this and I don't want to have this. And I believe each story did the same thing with Mahito where he's like, yeah, all right, we are both killing each other. Like you're killing humans where I'm killing like spirits and ghosts, um, cursed energy, curses. And that's where he was finally able to come to the acceptance because in order for us to grow and change as people, we have to accept ourselves for who we are. But we can also change and evolve through that process by being like, I don't want to be in the same place. So what do I have to do to be able to get to that next place? And sometimes it requires letting go and accepting that we are people who maybe we didn't originally think we were, even if it is from a different perspective than we originally thought. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it made sense. At least it made sense to me. I think it'll make sense to you as well too. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.